Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, but I want to give just a little update and catch up on the things that I've been using. So it might not be a very long video, but I definitely have a couple interesting new things to show. So as you can see here, I have my two Hobuni tweaks that I use, and I don't think I have ever show this one and i have here the new pouch from hobonichi which is the aurora duri but now in this small drawer pouch that matches the planner so i just want to start by saying that i've been using my hobonichi weeks for everything still but i am slowly getting back to my plotter and i'm gonna show that so just if you want to have an idea what i've been talking about okay so i want to start by my Hobonichi Weeks, which is my main planner. And what I have here is this cover from VDS, from Vendor Spec. The leather that I ask for is Lapun. So this is kind of a new um, navy royal blue and is in the Touch Me leather, which is a collection that has some pebble. I like this type of leather because it doesn't get a lot of stains and marks, so I can just put it in my bag and take it to work. I tend to get a bit stressed with other leathers that are more um, sensitive to marks, although I'm pretty okay with my traveler's company and even like the plotter that do age over time, but some others that I had like the Julio that everything would stain, but it it will look like it's dirty, I don't know. But this type of letter is a really good one if you take your um, planner with you every day and put it in your bag and, you know, place it in, I don't know, places that it could get stained. So I really like this one and I recommend if you want something to use every day. So there are a couple of customizations in this cover. One is the clasp that is actually the A5 one, so it's not the thin one that is their standard thing, and I ask for a front pocket, that's all. Here, um, I didn't ask for anything new, I left what they had, and in the back, it's also the same, and I don't have a back pocket, because I felt it would make this cover a bit, like, bulky, and it's not what I was looking for. So what I'm using here is still the Hobonichi um, Mega Sneaker. And I haven't yet started to write things in this space as I thought I would, which is funny because I try to utilize the max that I could, but I, I don't know, I just didn't need, I guess, <laughs> this spot. So I, from time to time, I would have a little sticky note here with work or personal stuff, depending on what I'm doing. So as they are, things are accomplished done, I just remove it and go. So I don't ever use this page with the past year and the future year. I only collect information here, mainly I circle and pencil the days that there are no school. This is the mood tracker and I have different moods and a couple of health um, information and I just mark here. I also have birthdays written throughout and yeah it's been working okay i'm using the zig dot thingies to mark each mood and sometimes i do think that i have to expand a bit more um uh, things are not so well um defined in my five <laughs> moods but i might change for next year we'll see um so here are the monthlies and the way they've been using it's mainly i just write everything that i need to know events, birthdays, um, sometimes I put also little memories like this when I want to journal in my other journals, I have the information here. The trackers are still very modest, just information that I need either to give to my doctor or just to motivate me to do things like to get a bit more movement every day and um, put my eye drop, which is, I've been very terrible with the eye drop. So I haven't changed. Normally what I do for these trackers here, I have two things that I want to do, like move my body and then it could be something related to eating better or having a better sleeping habit, something like that. And the other two are related to my IBS that I have to report to my doctor when I have the appointment. So the two first are related to things that I want to do. I tend to change 
if I figure that this habit is incorporated into my routine. But the eye drop is being really hard. So it's still here since January. But yeah, but mainly I decorate with stickers and washi tapes again. I think last year I wasn't doing as much, but this year I want to do. I feel like it looks cute, it looks nice. And I still have space to write things. Um, because I write really, really tiny. <laughs> So yeah, so this is this month, that is my birthday month, and I already have a couple of things, but not much in advance. I mainly keep this information in my iCal, and then as the months come, I would transfer. Uh, okay, so in the weeklies, I think I can go a little bit back. I don't remember when was the last time that I did a flip, but I'm using um, the same way. I keep on the left where we have the dates, um, the dated events, and mainly to do's for that specific date. Sometimes I would do this little um, dot sticker with the icon on top because I think they are pretty cute and they would stand out and tell me something important for the day, like it, they will really um, draw my attention to something that is happening and here I have enough space for a big to-do list. I put notes here sometimes but normally not normally it's mainly the to do's yeah so this is how i've been using i'm using a lot more of my blue inks this year i think last year i was using a lot of black because i felt like they would go well with the stickers this year i am full on everything is blue the inks the covers the stickers i'm just like doing um what i feel like it looks cute to me so if you're Favorite color is whatever color, brown, pink, purple, just use it, you know. It will make you much happier, it will make you use it more. I am not caring if I am changing inks in the middle of the week, really, like, what matters to me is to be using it, to be taking some, something out of it, which, which is basically organization <laughs> and getting things done. I also record some memories like this i can journal after but also i realized that by recording the memories when i look back or even during the week if i'm not having like the best week i can look at those fun things happy memories and be like oh yeah that was good okay i'll keep going <laughs> you know it motivates you i feel like it puts you in a good mindset and in a good mood i tried something different last week i saw uh, i think it was rachel on theory is it sorry if i uh, I'll, I'll put in the link below now i forgot exactly what is her handle um she was using like um stencil to put some squares and dots on her um sterling ink paper uh, planner common planner and i thought yeah maybe i will use, try the stencil thing because here i was doing the line with the pencil and crossing it off so here there's like no line and I draw the, the circles. I actually like it, but then I have to use the stencil. So for this week, I just, I just stop. I don't even draw the line. I just put the dots and when things get done, I just cross it off. And I think like now I'm okay with it because before I wasn't crossing for some reason that I, I don't know, I didn't like the way the crossing looked. But then it's true that it gets a bit hard for you to track what was done, what wasn't, right? Um, so drawing the line in here to put the dot and then cross it off kind of allowed me to be crossing it off. <laughs> and then I think that now I'm 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 past it, I'm done it, I'm okay with it. And this is how this week went. And again, here I have my to-do list, so it's fine. Um and I like the way that it looks especially when i use a different ink for the memory talking about the inks um i've been using a lot more my fountain pen here i think i already mentioned that the grip of this pen sometimes um doesn't work with my hand although i have this pen for almost two years is it two years yes um but from time to time i don't know what happened i don't manage to grip it in a nice way and it gets slippery and it hurts my finger i don't know why i think depending on the pen that i'm using if i have to hold it differently it kind of affects the other pens <laughs> i don't know if you guys go through it but anyways i'm back to it and it's holding well and i'm loving it 
and um, the ink that I was using was Diamine Denim. Let me, let me see if I have it here. Yeah, I was using this one. Um, but recently I decided to check this one, which is from Sailor, because I had this one. So I had Sailor Seibuku, which so those are pigmented inks from Sailor. And I watched a video from Yuseka where Ame, Ameru, was saying that actually they had this too. This is much more of a blue ink and this is more of a blue black. And I had no idea that that existed. Maybe I saw it, but because the names are so similar, I didn't realize it. And when I watched that video, I was like, wait, they have a blue black? Because I love blue black and I decided to get it. So here it is. So this is Seibuku, which you see, it's a, it's a blue, it's a lighter blue. And this is Sobuku which is more of a blue black. So what I'm using here now is the blue black and I have used a lot the other one in here. I will do a flip of this one, but let me just show you. So these are all the blue blacks that I have tested because I love them. So here's see on top the Muji, which is actually a gel pen. Uh, and I love the um, 0 0.38. And then I have the Pentaminer gel in the Neuro Point, 0 0.33, also very good. The Denim from Diamine that I was using a lot. And then here is the Sailor Seibuku, if you can see it here. Then we have Diamine Blue Black. I also got them. And then Lummy Blue Black, but this is a lot lighter. I think the pen still had a bit of water because I had to do it multiple times here to get Seibuku right. So here we have Sobuku again, and here we have Seibuku. Yeah, sorry, the names are pretty similar, but I think here I have them close by. Yeah, so here, this one here is Seibuku, and this one here is Sobuku. So the lighter and the darker. And I'm just like really obsessed with this. Shades of blue black, I've tested a ton, but this is what I have in this one right now i tested another one from sailor um new york because i got a sample in the ink swap that a simone organized and i loved it loved it loved it so i bought this one but it's just that new york is a bit darker and because this pen is extra fine if i put anything that is blue black super dark it will look like black so it has to be a pen that is a bit more wet and it has a slightly larger nib because I don't like medium or even fine, but I do like fine if it's in a sailor because it's a little large. So yeah, but if you use larger, larger nibs than I, than I do, this one from sailor is also very good. So yeah, this is what it's here now. It's the Sobuku. And then um, the notes pages. So the notes pages are going super great. I'm very glad that I did this little thing where I divided the number of the total number of pages by the months. Like this, I had an idea if I would be running out. And guess what? I'm not running out. So it's great. No notes pages crisis this year. So here it's uh, like space for you know free for all. There isn't there are no rules and. I change quite often the way that I write things, but mainly is whatever notes I need. It could be just rambling, journaling, um, reminders, ideas, um, more specific to-dos that I didn't have the space, a bunch of pen tests, and like um, washi swatches if I receive new watches that I bought, some, yeah, practicing of things. There is just like no rules here i just do whatever i need and it's been really great and i like to use it um one thing is that i'm not focusing so much on having two planners right now because i'm taking this to work so there is a lot of work notes on the back pages and it's fine like this you see all the blue ink research um like this i can only get take one with me in my bag and it's small and it's fine but I put this little thing here back, which is the little booklet from Hobonichi. So if I, this is only work work, so it's a bit more concentrated like this. I don't have to go through all the notes pages in here. And here in the back, I have this, um, my 100 
that I'm using for the inks. <clears throat> Excuse me. So basically, I have all the inks that I'm testing this year. Even if I didn't use in this planner or if I used on, where is it? On this one or in my journal, in my traveler's um, company notebook. But here are all the inks that I'm using. And I think it's nice to know, like, they don't have an, an idea. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't um, mean that I bought all the inks. It, it just means that those are the inks that I use. Yeah, I felt like this was a, some interesting information. <laughs> so, yeah, so this is um, how I'm keeping up with my life, <laughs> basically using this little planner. I change this cover from time to time, depending on which pen I'm using, because um, sometimes this loop from Van der Spijk is not super good. It's the only thing that I don't love about this, is that the, uh, the loop is in the middle, which is nice, but it's not that i mean there is an elastic but it doesn't really open a whole lot so i have to be aware of what pen i'm putting here and because it's in the middle i cannot clip the clip in here does it make sense because otherwise the pen is just too low so yeah so but that's just a detail but anyways i change cover from time to time and this is what i'm using right now so let me talk about this one that I don't think I ever showed. So this is a regular Hobonichi, and this is the first version of the Hobonichi uh, weeks in English. This cover is just the most gorgeous, cute thing ever, <laughs> and I really like it. And when I got this one, I immediately jumped into it, and I actually started using it in December as my main planner. But as the time passes, I realized I needed the, the Mega because I needed more um pages so what this turned into is uh was a fun journal like um fountain pen place to test and things like that so i have it decorated with a bunch of stickers from shops that i like this is the tiny thing from coffee master's club that i feel like it's a good way to start i'm not using anything here this is my ink um, tracker for the year i did that before on my travelers company um, monthly insert last year because it also has this ear at a glance but i'm not using that insert this year so i'm doing here which is nice so here's basically the pens that are inked and how i've used them in my journal during each month so it's nice just to see what colors I was into, what colors I tried out. Uh, for sure, there'll be a lot of blue here. But uh, yeah, I just love to see what I what I enjoy using. So December, I was using here because it's when the planner started. After that, I moved to the other one and then I stopped using the monthlies because, yeah. I don't know, I might use the months to do some swatches, like maybe get all the Farsville Press um inks that i receive because i'm i'm an ambassador for the company um and just watch them here like this i can compare or track what are the inks that i have things like this so let me go into the pages so after i move away from this to being a planner i started to use this as kind of a ink journal fun journal at first i was just like testing out a couple inks and seeing how they would write on hobonichi paper and then after, I started to journal a little. So some days there will be some entries, thoughts, and things like this. I will put stickers. And I said, okay, I'll be using this as just a fun journal. I can test pens, I can test inks, but I could also write a little bit. It's very tiny, like this I can keep up. And whenever I have time, I can jump into a more of a bigger page with more stickers, washi tapes, and stamps, and it all whenever I have time during the weekend. And I actually really like because I just keep it in here on my desk and then quickly in the morning or whenever I have time, I can just come and write a little, but I can also um, have fun and test my inks. So and it's just been this, a fun little journal where I test some things out and I write whatever um, I want, but there is a lot more of ink um, tests here. So yeah, this is what this little planner is being about and i'm feeling like sometimes i just want to write in this because of the paper i'm loving much more this paper than the traveler's company paper which is a midori paper so i'm not sure what i would do once that 
uh, insert finish. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Is this insert here, which is a half year insert, and it's a weekly, so I've been using it, but it will finish end of June. And um, I've, although I'm doing this because I can just jump on a weekend and catch up, um, I'm feeling much more like doing that. So I will reevaluate in the middle of the year if I want to continue with this or if I want to stick to only this, because this too, it's kind of seeing a bit of competition for my free time. And I don't know, what I like about this one is that I put a lot of pictures in here because it's a book that has room to grow. So I feel like it's fine to make this be really bulky. In here, I don't wanna do this because it will be hard to brighten it. Um, so I'll have to see what I will do. So, so far I do come here from time to time and often like one, two, or even three weeks late, but I have the photos on my phone so I can quickly print and update. And I do have a lot of fun, but, um, I'm feeling more like that. I'm just afraid if I stop this altogether, I will stop putting the picture. So maybe I would keep maybe another insert, which is just a grid and put the pictures whenever I want and write about it, getting the information from here. I have to think about, but this is, I don't know, It's it, it feels too much, but we'll see, just to give you guys an update. Yeah, so this is what I've been doing here. Um, and it's been fun. Yeah, so this is was this was my last entry about all the black, uh, blue black inks. And, the last thing I want to share in this video is this new pouch that I actually got for my birthday that it's only a week from now. <laughs> but last year, I was a bit traumatized with this thing of waiting for my birthday to open my gift because I bought a pen. I waited for almost 10 days and when I opened, it wasn't it. I didn't love it. And yeah, so now I receive something, I open, I make sure everything is fine because if I need to change or return, I have time to do so and don't get like disappointed on my birthday. But this thing didn't disappoint at all. Actually, when I saw the photo on the website, I wasn't in love with it because I thought, I thought that this thing looked very like matte or not shiny. And it looked to me as if it was um, canva material or jeans. I don't know why they didn't take a good picture, but Tori from Tetra by Tori, she was at the Hobonichi event and she filmed it. And when I saw it, I was like, wait, it's actually pretty cute. And so much like it's gorgeous in person. And then I ran to the website and I got it. And so there it is. So this is exactly like this cover, but in a pouch in this material, it seemed to me like a rain jacket or umbrella. I'm sorry, I don't know the, the name of this type of fabric, but it's not plastic, but it's it's waterproofed. Um, but I don't know the name. But yeah, so it's this, so it's very like shiny and you put your hands here. It feels, it's not glittery, so it's not gonna come off in your finger, you know, but you can feel the glitter. But I think it's nice that if you rub it off, it won't come off, which is great. And the interior is light blue, because I was thinking um, when they had the um, tambourine cover, cover, tambourine um, pouch, I was like, well, but the interior is navy. And I already have another pouch that the interior is navy. So I thought like, okay, I can pass on that because the shipping is super expensive. It's fine. But then when I saw that this one was light blue, I was like, okay, I'm going to get it. It's different, although the, the setup, the interior, is, it's, it's the same, but, you know, it's the same, but it's not. So I really love this, especially since I'm not taking this with me to work, this stay home. What I take with me is this, and often I'm like, why do I want more pages? Why can I just love not having a lot of pages and then I can use this one that is the cute one? Yeah, I feel this frustration sometimes. But it's fine, you know, it's always home waiting for me. But when I'm at work, I don't see the pretty cover. But now I can see it with the pouch. So what did I put here? A bunch of things. So if I take it to work, I might change because I don't need to take all the fountain pens to work because I'm not going to use it all. But basically, um, because this is the weekend and I just wanted to play around with it, 
I put a bunch of stuff in here. So I have a couple more of the pens that I use. So this is another vanishing point that I have. And this is a navy with rhodium. And this is where I have the other blue. The Seibuku is here. And this pen here is a Sailor. I don't know the model, but it's one that I got from Amazon. So it's not super fancy, not very expensive. And this is a fine nib. And in this one, I have inked with a mix of blues that I did that actually is a powder blue, which is the blue that I write my um, memories of the day in, this blue here. Yeah. And then this other one is a Caveco student, and I have brown ink in from Farzul Press. Ta-da. This is a Sarasa Grand Vintage with the Snoopy um, <laughs> drawing. And I have the Muji refilling here. I have a Hobonichi pen, which is a Jetstream 0.5. And in this one, I don't know what I have. This is the Kleena War refusing here. Oh, it's a Jetstream as well, 0.5 that I have in here. I have this tiny, whoops. Um, sticker book that I made myself. I just got like an old sticker book that I had and I cut the pages down and I staple in the middle with this vellum just to make a little cover like this. I can carry this with me. I have this washi cards that have mainly washi tapes from the Coffee Monsters Go. And inside I have a portable scissor that I got from Amazon. Um, sorry, I don't, I'm not sure. I probably don't have the link because it was many years ago. Mechanical pencil. This is where I have the Energel needle point. And then I have the correction tape that is cream, the eraser, and the ruler. So all this fits in here. For now, because it's the weekend, I just carry this outside of the office like downstairs and it all so cute and close and here in the back i have this little pouch that i made so this is actually a basic slim cover like plastic cover from midori that i cut one of the sides like this it has a main pocket and i sticked in here adhesive 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 i don't know sticky pockets from the coffee monsters co and this is just another one from avery and that's it, because I can also just grab this and put in my cover and take with me. But I would love to have shops with um, those little folders for the Hobonichi Week size. Actually, I bought from Happy Scrappy, so I'm just waiting for it to arrive. But I would love to have more in the Hobonichi Week size. Um, so yeah, this is what I have here. So the last thing I want to share, it's the plotter. It's been a while, I don't talk about the plotter. Mainly because the plotter at first was set up to be a work planner, but I'm not taking this to work with me. Um, so I reorganized it all. And what I have in here is, again, just an organizer for random thoughts and things. And as I said before, I feel like having a ring binder is the best option when you want to organize information. They could be home information, business information, school information, whatever. Things that you might not be able to reorganize from time to time, like when you have a book bound, uh, just because you might want to put pages in certain positions and information would come over time and we will have to add those in the right sections. So the ring binder for me is the way to go. Um, so this card is from Ame. Ame wrote this sticker as well. I got in her their giveaway. Uh, I started using for work, so there, there was mainly work notes here, that's why it's just pen and highlighters, but after I was mainly taking the Hobonichi with me, so it didn't make sense, so now it's just a place for me to have ideas, put like my um, main things to do and journal a little bit about things, but in a perspective of working on things that I think need to be worked on. So mainly like personal projects, home projects and things like that. So this is what this is about. There is a lot more of personal information in here, but nothing that will need a planner, like a dated agenda per se. Uh, so I just keep in here. So I have like the folders here with information that I would need for projects 
and some grid paper to write and this is what it's about and then each month i would try to put a couple of actions that i want to take towards that goal but it's not really a full-on goal setting thing it's just like projects that we might have or things that are on my mind that i want to do and this is what the um, plotter it's been about so yeah and it's been great so it just sits here and i use it whenever i need um the last one that i want to show it's the pocket plotter or the mini six and this i only take with me if i go somewhere if i go shopping or things like this because i can write the shopping list in this tiny thing here and take with me i don't take this if it's not if i'm not going to work um i just leave it home but i would like to take this one normally when i go shopping i would put like a shopping list and go and here in the back i have an order tracker so yeah so this is just for errands let's say but i do like it yeah i like it a lot so all right this is what i've been up to I just wanted to do a little update on how things are going and what I'm using. And I'm extremely happy with everything that I have in here. And this was one of the things that I got for my birthday. This cover, although I've been using for already a month, uh, it took, what, um, almost three months to arrive. And the last thing that I also got was this pen from Sailor. Um, so yeah, those are the new things happening on my desk and I just wanted to share with you. If you are uh, still here, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.